Uh, welcome to this channel IBMI classes and uh, today in this vi video we will cover how we can provide a record format name in an SQL table so in our previous video we discussed that how we can create a table with short name using the run SQL statement so we are going to follow the same way that is we are creating a table with short name and uh, using run SQL statement and uh, but in this video we will be providing the record format name to the SQL table so in previous video we saw that the record format name was same as the table name because we didn't provide the record format name there in the example so this time we will be going to provide the record format name as well in the SQL table so this is something which um, one should know that how we can provide a record format in SQL table uh, however we can surely provide a record format name in DDS files which is actually everyone I think know or whosoever who is new to the AS400 they will get to know oh, that uh, they will be that we can first thing we need to provide a record format name in DDS files that is PF files sure so how we can do the same thing in SQL tables let's saw that just come to revoke with number PTM now so this was the previous example there so we have created a table having two fields field 1 and field 2 now here we didn't have given any record format name so let's take a copy of this and just change name record format sure I read this so we saw we know that this is a commented line so we can give the comment like this in an SQL uh, source member now create table table 2 field 1 cat 10 field 2 integer now remove this so once we have defined the field definition using create table command after that we will be providing the record format name to that table SQL table using RCD FMT keyword now after that keyword we need to provide the name of the record format what we want to key suppose I want the keyword as uh, record one records or record ones and semicolons so this is the way to provide a record format to a SQL table so let's compile this using run SQL statement run SQL stm source file is SQL tables IBMI class 1 is the library source member is table 2 commit should be none right now see the log attention shift F6 table 2 in IBMI class 1 created but was not journaled so these five were actually not journaled you can see the job log as well So we will be getting CVT level 20 always because these files are not general so uh, we don't need to care about that because we are not doing the journaling right now for these tables. Now CDSPFD information of this table 2 or we will be seeing the record format name. So we can see that the record format name is record 1 right now. So this is the way that we can provide a record format name to SQL table. So this is very easy and don't uh, you don't need to worry about that. And you can use these things in your examples while creating SQL tables because we need uh, record formats to be supplied in SQL tables as well. So this is the way to do the same. So 
thank you for watching my video and have a nice time and please 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 don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like those videos or these contents provided by the channel please also share those uh, videos and uh, this is all thank you and have a nice time